neighbors hammering away. talking too much about gear? Do we put too much emphasis on, on gear, on accessories, on, on cameras and lenses and all that jazz? And with we, I mean people like, like me, right, who have a YouTube channel maybe or a blog and who write about photography, talk about photography. But I also mean people like like people like me, right, who just simply love photography, who love taking photos, because at least that's my personal experience. Whenever I talk about photography with fellow photographers, sooner or later, mostly sooner, we uh, end up talking about cameras and lenses and and all that stuff. So. Why is that? Let's face it. We always talk about, or a lot of people talk about, and I'm one of those, right, who say, like, we can take great photos with every camera. So the camera doesn't matter, actually. Basically, the camera doesn't matter. The gear doesn't matter. It's not true. It's factually not true. The gear matters. Gear matters a lot, but not in a way that we cannot take great photos with every camera, but we can take specific types of photos only with specific gear, or spe specific gear allows us to take specific photos more easily, or more in a specific way that other gear doesn't allow us to do that. So this is what we have to talk about. If we have a halfway decent camera, the overlap of situations that allow us to take great photos with that camera compared to um, a, um, a pro level camera is huge. I would say that like 70, 80, 90 percent of all usual situations that we have are absolutely um, perfectly fine for most cameras. Most cameras, most halfway decent cameras allow us to take great photos in most everyday situations. And only in these fringe situations, in the extremes, we need different, we need specific gear. When I'm a, if I'm a, a sports photographer, for example, or a wildlife photographer, yes, I, I need, I probably need a camera with a faster burst mode. I probably need a camera with a faster, super reliable, to the point autofocus, something that doesn't even come to play in everyday photography, or that is not even important at all in, say, landscape photography. Landscape photography usually allows me to, to take my time. I can set up my tripod, I can make my manual settings, and I can wait for the proper light, or the, right, the, the, the light that is right for what I want to take. Uh, 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 use, um, yeah, you know what I mean, right? The light that is right for what I intended to, to shoot, right? So it's all about what we want to do what we intend to do and if there is specific gear that allows us to either or enables us to do that or allows it to allows us to do this faster or in a more convenient way or and i do think that this is also something that we rarely talk about but that is also incredibly important, the gear that allows us to do things um, with more fun involved. Last year I threw away a, a, literally a pile of photography magazines stacking up to that height that I, that I collected over the last 
12, 15 years. And because I found that I have no use for them anymore. And uh, because most information in these magazines was just information about the latest cameras, the latest gear, the latest firmware uh, firmware updates for cameras uh the latest well this is a different thing right the latest software updates new software coming up and it was hardly about photography about photography techniques about photography how to improve our photography outside of or except for improving our gear i somehow have the feeling that um, people are more open to invest in new gear rather than investing in their abilities, in their skills, in learning, in, 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 in practicing. Because if, you're, if you do photography, you have to practice. You have to practice photography. You have to practice focusing. You have to practice... Uh, um, um, composition you have to learn how to to operate your camera blindly i got a new camera last year end of last year the canon 90d that i'm filming with at the moment by the way and i had to learn this camera even though it's not that different to my my previous camera the canon 700d so yes for those of you who ask what? Why did you get or did you get an another DSLR? DSLRs are dead. Here we are at the, the gear discussion again. For the next five to ten years, I don't think that DSLRs will be that. They will, will be dead. They will slowly become less important. I'm absolutely certain about that and I'm also absolutely certain that this camera, the EOS 90D, will be or is the last DSLR that I bought, at least if I buy a DSLR to upgrade. Maybe if someone has a, a 1D lying around and uh, that still works and uh, he will give it to me for a fiver, I'll gladly take it, right? If you have a 1D or a 5D, 50 bucks, I'm in if it still works. Right, a fiver for uh, no fifty bucks. I think it's fifty bucks. One D or five D, five D Mark One, Two, Three, whatever it is. I don't care. Fifty bucks if it still works. So done deal. Message me. Uh, email is on my on my YouTube channel. By the way, um, you can find it. So <laughs> with that having said, um, I bought this camera for a reason, for lots of reasons, and. Um, I might make a video, my, my reasoning, what you might want to have in mind uh, when you buy a new camera, maybe if that is an interesting or would be in, something you'd be interested in, uh, let me know in the comments. So to conclude that, do we put too much emphasis on gear? Actually, no, I don't think we put too much emphasis on gear. I do think that we put the wrong emphasis on gear. Because people always say, the camera, this camera can do this, and this camera can do that, that. This lens has this feature, this lens has that feature, this lens does perform this way, this lens perform that way, this lens has this resolution, this... What I'm interested in is not the specs. What I'm interested in, how will getting this new piece of gear or different piece of gear, how will it affect my photography? How will it change my photography? How, if you got that, how did it change your photography? If you got a new camera, how this, that, did this affect your approach in photography? How did this affect the results you got? What can you do now that you couldn't have done before? Or can you get the same results but with a, in a different way? Is it easier for you to get the same results? Do your new gear enable you to get new results? This 
is what I'm interested in. And I can positively say that my new camera so far, I haven't really tried it out too much. I haven't had too many possibilities, but my new camera enabled me to do things differently and with different results. And I'm super happy with that. And this is my, one of my New Year's resolutions, a late New Year resolution, because it's almost the end of January, that if I will make gear videos, in case I will make gear videos for my channel, my focus will be on how this piece of gear or these pieces of gear changed my approach in photography, how it helped me to broaden my horizon, what I learned by using this piece of gear. And I think this is something that I will benefit a lot from and I hope maybe you will benefit from that as well. What are your thoughts? Oopsie, did you see that? I flipped the cable off my microphone. Um, <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? Do we put too much emphasis on gear? Do we, do we put the wrong emphasis on gear? What are your experiences with new gear or different gear? Please share in the comments and if you like that video, if you want to see more of that kind of videos in which I'll just um, unrehearsed blurt out my thoughts on subjects, um, then let me know. Um, if you like that video, please send it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you, if you subscribe, then hit that little bell icon because then YouTube will give you a notification whenever I post a new video and subscribing and, and, and thumbs ups, etc. will help me out a lot. So um, yeah, my name is Pete. I like pictures. This one's for today. Bye bye. Till next time.